Today, we are going to talk in detail about how to give an intramuscular injection in a safe, calm, and correct way. This video is created only for educational and awareness purposes, and it does not replace professional medical training. Always follow your local medical rules and work under proper supervision whenever required. The aim of this video is to help viewers understand the basic process and safety principles behind intramuscular injections. An intramuscular injection is a method of delivering medicine deep into the muscle tissue. Muscles have a rich blood supply, which allows the medicine to be absorbed faster than many other routes. This is why intramuscular injections are commonly used for vaccines, pain relief medicines, antibiotics, hormones, and vitamins. Before starting any injection, the most important thing is preparation. Good preparation reduces mistakes and improves patient safety. Always begin by confirming the medication name, the correct dose, the expiry date, and the patient identity. This step must never be skipped. Even experienced professionals can make mistakes if they rush. After verification, wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water. Clean hands reduce the risk of infection. Hand hygiene is one of the most powerful tools in healthcare. Dry your hands with a clean towel and put on disposable gloves. Gloves protect both the patient and the person giving the injection. Now focus on choosing the correct injection site. This step plays a major role in reducing pain and preventing injury. Common intramuscular injection sites include the deltoid muscle of the upper arm, the vastus lateralis muscle of the thigh, and the ventrogluteal muscle near the hip. Each site has its own advantages depending on the patient age, body size, and type of medicine. The deltoid muscle is often used for vaccines and small volume injections. It is easy to access, but it should not be used for large volume medicines. The vastus lateralis muscle is commonly used in children and infants because it is well developed and easy to locate. The ventrogluteal site is considered one of the safest sites for adults because it is away from major nerves and blood vessels. Once the site is chosen, position the patient comfortably. The muscle must be relaxed. A tense muscle increases pain and discomfort. Ask the patient to sit or lie down depending on the injection site. Speak calmly and explain the procedure. This helps reduce fear and builds trust. After positioning, clean the injection site with an alcohol swab. Use a circular motion starting from the center and moving outward. Allow the skin to dry completely. This is important because injecting through wet alcohol can cause stinging and irritation. Never touch the cleaned area again. Now prepare the syringe and needle. Select the appropriate needle size based on the patient body type and injection site. The needle must be long enough to reach the muscle, but not too long. Using the wrong needle size can result in improper delivery of medicine. Open the syringe package carefully, ensuring sterility. Draw the prescribed amount of medicine into the syringe. Insert the needle into the vial and pull back the plunger to the required dose. Check the syringe for air bubbles. Air bubbles should be removed by gently tapping the syringe and pushing the plunger slightly. Accurate dosing is essential for patient safety. Hold the syringe firmly like a dart. This grip gives better control and confidence. Stretch the skin around the injection site with your non-dominant hand. In some cases, the Z-Track method is used to prevent medication leakage and skin irritation. This technique involves pulling the skin to the side before inserting the needle. Insert the needle quickly and confidently at a 90-degree angle. A quick, smooth insertion reduces pain and tissue trauma. Hesitation can increase discomfort. The needle should go straight into the muscle. Once the needle is fully inserted, stabilize it with one hand. Keep the syringe steady. Depending on your training and local protocol, 
aspiration may or may not be required. If aspiration is required, gently pull back the plunger to check for blood. If blood appears, remove the needle and prepare a new injection. If no aspiration is required, proceed to inject the medicine. Inject slowly and steadily. A slow injection allows the muscle fibers to absorb the medicine properly. Injecting too fast can cause pain, swelling, and muscle damage. Watch the patient during the injection. Some patients may feel discomfort or anxiety. Reassure them and continue calmly. Once the medicine is fully injected, wait briefly before withdrawing the needle. Withdraw the needle smoothly at the same angle it was inserted. Apply gentle pressure with a clean cotton or gauze. Do not massage the site unless specifically instructed for that medication. Some medicines can irritate the tissue if massaged. Dispose of the used needle and syringe immediately into a sharps container. Never recap the needle. This step is extremely important to prevent needle stick injuries and spread of infection. Always follow proper waste disposal guidelines. After the injection, observe the patient for a few minutes. Some medicines may cause allergic reactions, dizziness, or pain. If the patient experiences difficulty breathing, swelling, severe pain, or rash, seek medical help immediately. Documentation is the final step. Record the medication name, dose, injection site, time, and any reaction. Proper documentation helps maintain accurate medical records and ensures continuity of care. Intramuscular injections are common procedures, but they require knowledge, practice, and attention to detail. Following correct steps ensures patient comfort, safety, and effective treatment. Healthcare workers and students should practice these skills under supervision until they gain confidence. Rushing or skipping steps can lead to complications such as infection, nerve damage, or improper medication delivery. Patient communication is also a key part of the process. Always explain what you are doing. Use simple language and reassure the patient. A calm patient experiences less pain and anxiety. It is also important to rotate injection sites when repeated injections are required. Repeated injections in the same site can cause muscle damage and pain. Rotation allows muscles to heal properly. Maintaining a clean environment is equally important. Ensure that all equipment is sterile and the workspace is clean. This reduces the risk of contamination and infection. Never reuse needles or syringes. Single-use equipment must be disposed of after one use. Reusing equipment can transmit serious infections. Always stay updated with current medical guidelines. Injection practices may change over time based on new research and safety recommendations. Continuous learning is essential in healthcare. If you are a student or beginner, always seek guidance from a trained professional. Practice on simulation models before performing injections on patients. This builds confidence and improves technique. Remember that patient safety is the top priority. Every step, from preparation to disposal, matters. A successful injection is not just about delivering medicine, but also about care, responsibility, and professionalism. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more medical, pharmacy, and healthcare awareness content. Our mission is to educate and promote safe practices. Thank you for watching and take care.